Don't talk about my fucking woman! I ain't nobody talking about your woman, dumb <laughs> dumb. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Passport TV. Harry Dick here with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, much appreciated. Before we get started, uh, a great big shout out to Swampcast for providing everyone in the community with information about the dangers and unstable people that are out and about in our community. Thank you, Swampcast. Today's topic, people don't forget. Let's listen in. Let's listen in. I climbed up into my attic space, which I know very intimately. Nobody goes up there. There's only one person that's ever been up there other than me. You know, possibly a worker for some reason. But there were cut up plywood boards on there, right where the light fixture is. They were plywood that was cut up to cover the spaces. You know how the uh, boards on the floor are open to the ceiling. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, most people get... Birds, squirrels, raccoons, snakes, mice in their attics. Here we have a frail orange-headed creep in the attic, peeping. Uh, two by you climb up the ladder, go into the hatch. That was in the room. I know the bed intimately. Yeah, that's, that's pretty creepy, crawling around in the attic, uh, peeping. Uh, but this individual has a long history of this type of behavior. No matter where he goes, what city, what state, what country, this behavior follows him everywhere. And now he's feeling a little bit confident uh, since the recent, the recent passing of Mr. Fazio. This creep feels like uh, he's ready to talk about this. He's ready to talk about it because Michael Fazio isn't here to rebuttal any of these things that he's saying because this creep feels that Michael Fazio was responsible for all of his problems. Let's listen. It's time enough I could talk about it at this point. I'm not mentioning any names. I've had many tenants before, so... So did Fazio. Fazio tried to fucking call. Every fucking official they could. Michael Fazio, who's laying dead right now. Is anyone surprised by this at all? Nobody is surprised by this coming from the frail little creep. Uh, he is known for this this type of behavior, wishing death on everyone, karma as he calls it. Uh, people don't forget. Let's listen. You know, people need to represent themselves as to who as who they are. Well, Fuck him. Die of cancer, you motherfucker. Well, die. 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 Well, die. The best reward is to die, motherfucker. Die. You fuck you. Die, motherfucker. Die. Die. Die, motherfucker. There. None. Why did they do all this? Then they would make a lot of allegations about their daughter. Or anything, really. I and I was doing YouTube shows. He was doing YouTube shows, ladies and gentlemen. He was doing YouTube shows. Is anybody surprised about that? When is he not doing YouTube? When is he not on YouTube? He was doing YouTube. Who's surprised about that? People don't forget. People don't forget. Daughter comes walking out of the house. And their car happened to be in front of where their spot is. Okay? That's all. And she happened to get into the picture while I was video. I wasn't videotaping her at all. They turned around and said that I was purposely trying to put her on camera for something sexual. When the video itself proved that I only said one thing. I said, yeah, that's my neighbor's, my tenant's uh, daughter. I said, she's only so-and-so age and she's really tall for her age. That's all I said. They made something sexual out of that. We'll tell you all why coming up, okay? Just let me get down to that. They Let's get down to that. Maybe... Maybe they made a big deal about it because they didn't appreciate you having their eight-year-old child alone with you singing inappropriate songs about a man's genitalia. Maybe, maybe. Uh, 
Okay. Then it went on and on and on. Allegations went up, up and down, up and down. But why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Racism involved with African Americans, African Americans. That's nothing racial going on here with me. It's nothing racial going on with this guy. People don't forget. People don't forget. Nothing racial going on with this guy. Let's listen in. Let's listen. You know that fat slob that's living uh, in the United States? You know that mixed breed guy? You what you call him? You're a fucking mutt. You're a fucking mixture. You're a mixture. A mutt pie. That's all you are. A mutt pie. I wouldn't want to. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Calling people who are racially mixed mud pies sounds racist to me. What do you think? So much so that your fucking white bread wife left you. You know, the acorn don't fall far from the tree is what they say. I you suspect. Know? I suspect. That's, that's about who I am. Something called a spade a spade, man. What was wrong with that woman, man? What the fuck was wrong with her? She's seen something? I fucking mutt, man. You got... What nationality are you, anyway? Duh, duh, I'm one of you. Duh, no, you're not. You're a mutt. Get out of... I don't know. That sounds... That sounds pretty racist to me, folks. People don't forget. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because I wanted to. Nobody prompted me to talk about this. I'm thinking that I could finally talk about this now. After the smoke is cleared. I guess, I guess what he means by the smoke has cleared, I guess the smoke has cleared meaning Michael Fazio away. So now that Michael Fazio has passed away, the little frail man feels safe that Michael Fazio is not here to rebuttal what he has to say or contact these people uh, because, again, frail man thinks that uh, Michael Fazio is the cause of all of his problems, but Michael Fazio didn't put you in the closet with an eight-year-old child and put you on the ladder to go peeping, did he? And she blamed it on me to set the stress of living here. Oh, what the landlord was doing to them. What was I doing to them? I don't know. Let's begin with... Let's begin with talking about inappropriate things with their eight-year-old child. Uh, looking at their teenage daughter making videos of their teenage daughter, climbing on ladders, peeping through windows, climbing in the attic, peeping through, peeping through ceiling tiles. Uh, let's not forget about racial discrimination, dirty water filters, uh, bed bugs, uh, and apparently court of law felt the same way. They went to an Afro-American, African-American type of community thing that that sticks up for people of color jesus christ i wasn't no fucking racist if that was you know that mixed breed guy you're a fucking mutt you're a fucking mixture you're a mixture a mutt pie that's all you are a mutt pie i fucking white bread wife left you you know the acorn don't fall far from the trees what they say I you suspect. Know? I suspect. Something called a spade a spade, man. Mutt, man. You got... What nationality are you, anyway? Duh, duh, I'm one of you. Duh, no, you're not. You're a mutt. Get out of... Nobody was ever peering in anybody's windows. Being fine. Okay, so when things got hot and heavy, then I was peering in her windows. But they were extremely sketchy. When it came to me painting around the bedroom windows, so it was in the kids' room. Well, we closed the curtains. They didn't want me to see. Nobody did anything harmful to their children. It was a way of them making a paycheck, which they think they made. They think they made, but they were never able to get that money. And the only reason that the judge put it in favor was by... The judge put it in their favor... He put it in their favor because he agrees with everyone that you are a creepy, a creepy person. 
That's why the judge put it in their favor, because you're a creep. I wanted to talk about this for a long time in detail, but I was very reluctant. Now I feel I could. Lots of tenants and I could be talking about anybody, really. The little, the little orange creepy man is brave now. He feels like he could talk about it now. There's nobody out there that can stop him because the person that created all these problems for him has passed away. So the creepy, the creepy little man is feeling brave now. I couldn't blink my eye without being alleged something or alleged something or alleged something. Nobody, but nobody, me and or my brother or anybody, would ever invade on their privacy. Nasty that one of the tenants approached my brother by the beach where he's walking his dog and basically threatened him. My brother had nothing to do with anything of this. Maybe, maybe they approached Big Al. Maybe they, maybe they approached your brother, Big Al, because your brother was harassing them, calling them every day, calling them multiple times every day, wanting to get together with them. Maybe? Nobody, but nobody, ever did anything wrong with a child. When a 70-year-old man is, is alone with an 8-year-old boy, alone with an 8-year-old boy singing inappropriate songs about genitals, something's wrong there, something's wrong. Ever, ever, no child was touched, and why would any child be touched? Ever harm a child? I would never even think about it. I have two children that I look after over here. Never do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we already heard what you said about me and what you said about Jimmy and Gilda's daughter uh, that people were staying after her. That's creepy. Do I look at them in a funny way? Never would I ever do anything. People don't forget. You sang an inappropriate song to an eight year old child, and just recently were making inappropriate comments to Jimmy and Gilda's. Jimmy and Gilda's daughter telling her that people were lusting after her when nobody mentioned anything about Jimmy and Gilda's daughter except for you. Inappropriate. Creepy. That nature to any children. I love children and they generally love me. I treat them well. People don't forget. And what we do in life, people will remember us for all good things. And then there's those people out there that people will never forget, never forget the bad things. Thank you for tuning in to Passport TV. I'm Harry Dick. Have a great day.